The ORCID ID, Open Researcher and Contributor ID is a nonproprietary alphanumeric code to uniquely identify scientific and other academic authors and contributors. This addresses the problem that a particular author's contributions to the scientific literature or publications in the humanities can be hard to recognize as most personal names are not unique, they can change such as with marriage, have cultural differences in name order, contain inconsistent use of first name abbreviations and employ different writing systems. It provides a persistent identity for humans, similar to that created for content-related entities on digital networks by Digital Object Identifiers .The ORCID organization, ORCID Inc., offers an open and independent registry intended to be the de facto standard for contributor identification in research and academic publishing. On 16 October 2012, ORCID launched its registry services and started issuing user identifiers. Development and launch ORCID was first announced in 2009 as a collaborative effort by the research community to resolve the author name ambiguity problem in scholarly communication. The Open Researcher Contributor Identification Initiative, hence the name ORCID, was created temporarily prior to incorporation. A prototype was developed on software adapted from that used by Thomson Reuters for its researcher ID system. ORCID, Inc., was incorporated as an independent non-profit organization incorporated in August 2010 in Delaware, United States of America, with an international board of directors. Its executive director, Laura Hawk, was appointed in April 2012. From 2016, the board is chaired by Veronique Kiermer of PLOS the former chair was Ed Pence of Crossref. ORCID is freely usable and interoperable with other ID systems. ORCID launched its registry services and started issuing user identifiers on 16 October 2012. Formally, ORCID IDs are specified as URIs, for example, the ORCID ID for John Wilbanks is https colon slash slash orchid.org slash 0002-4510-0385 both https colon slash slash and http colon slash slash forms are supported, the former became canonical in November 2017. However, some publishers use the short form, e.g. ORCID 0000-0002-4510-0385 As a urn. ORCID IDs are a subset of the International Standard Name Identifier ISNI, under the auspices of the International Organization for Standardization as ISO 27729, and the two organizations are cooperating. ISNI will uniquely identify contributors to books, television programs, and newspapers, and has reserved a block of identifiers for use by ORCID, in the range 000-0000-001-5000-0007-0000-003-5000-0001. It is therefore possible for a person to legitimately have both an ISNI and an ORCID ID, effectively, two ISNIs. Both ORCID and ISNI use 16-character identifiers, using the digits 0 to 9, and separated into groups of 4 by hyphens. The final character, which may also be a letter, X, representing the value, 10. For example, Nick Jennings' ORCID ID is https colon slash slash orchid.org slash 0003-0166-248x, Stephen Hawking's is https colon slash slash orchid.org slash 0002-9079-593x closing parenthesis as a mod 11 to 2 check digit conforming to the ISO IEC 7064 to 2003 standard. An ORCID account for a fictitious person, Josiah Carberry, exists as https colon slash slash orchid.org slash 0002-1825-0097, for use in testing and as an example in documentation and training material. Uses The aim of ORCID is to aid the transition from science to e-science, wherein scholarly publications can be mined to spot links and ideas hidden in the ever-growing volume of scholarly literature." Another suggested use is to provide each researcher with 
a constantly updated digital curriculum vitae providing a picture of his or her contributions to science going far beyond the simple publication list. The idea is that other organizations will use the Open Access ORCID database to build their own services. It has been noted in an editorial in Nature that ORCID, in addition to tagging the contributions that scientists make to papers, could also be assigned to data sets they help to generate, comments on their colleagues' blog posts or unpublished draft papers, edits of Wikipedia entries and much else besides. In April 2014, ORCID announced plans to work with the Consortia Advancing Standards in Research Administration Information to record and acknowledge contributions to peer review. In an open letter dated 1 January 2016, eight publishers, including the Royal Society, the American Geophysical Union, Hindawi, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, PLOS, and Science, committed to requiring all authors in their journals to have an ORCID ID. Topic. Members, sponsors and registrants By the end of 2013 ORCID had 111 member organizations and over 460,000 registrants. On 15 November 2014, ORCID announced the one millionth registration. As of 25 November 2018, the number of registered accounts reported by ORCID was 5,641,303. The organizational members include many research institutions such as Caltech and Cornell University, and publishers such as Elsevier, Springer, Wiley and Nature Publishing Group. There are also commercial companies including Thomson Reuters, academic societies and funding bodies. Grant-making bodies such as the Wellcome Trust a charitable foundation have also begun to mandate that applicants for funding provide an ORCID identifier. Topic. National implementations In several countries, consortia, including government bodies as partners, are operating at a national level to implement ORCID. For example, in Italy, 70 universities and four research centers are collaborating under the auspices of the Conference of Italian University Rectors and the National Agency for the Evaluation of the University and Research Institutes in a project implemented by Sinica, a not-for-profit consortium representing the universities, research institutions, and the Ministry of Education. In Australia, the government's National Health and Medical Research Council (NHMRC) and Australian Research Council (ARC) encourage all researchers applying for funding to have an ORCID identifier. The French scientific article repository HAL is also inviting its users to enter their ORCID ID. Topic: <laughs> Integrations. In addition to members and sponsors, journals, publishers, and other services have included ORCID in their workflows or databases. For example, the Journal of Neuroscience, Springer Publishing, the Hindawi Publishing Corporation, Europe PMC, the Japanese National Institute of Informatics's researcher name Resolver, Wikipedia, and Wikidata. Some online services have created tools for exporting data to, or importing data from, ORCID. These include Scopus, Figshare, Thomson Reuters Researcher Ad System, Research Fish, the British Library for their Ethos Thesis Catalog, ProQuest for their ProQuest Dissertations and Theses Service, and Frontiers Loop. In October 2015, Datasite, Crossref, and Orchid announced that the former organizations would update Orchid records when an Orchid identifier is found in newly registered DOI names. Third-party tools allow the migration of content from other services into ORCID, for example Mendeley 2ORCID, for Mendeley. Some ORCID data may also be retrieved as RDF, XML, RDF Turtle, XML or JSON. ORCID uses GitHub as its code repository. See also Authority control Digital Author Identifier DIE, OpenID ResearcherID Ringgold Identifier RIN, Virtual International Authority File VIAF.